Alrighty, I hope this is gonna work. Should I just quickly while my thing is on do a half up, half down? Have a bit of time. I don't know why my Ah Shizzing! Hi! Okay. Okay, how exciting. It did I accept? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh my God. This is like the first time we're actually doing a live together. I'm so excited. How are Me you? Me too. I'm good. How are you? You look so I'm cute. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Sorry How's to keep you out. Freya's just over here playing. That is um, totally fine. Little bug. I was doing a half up, half down, but now I'm not sure. Oh, now I've crimped it. I was going to do that too. And I was like, mm, maybe I'll just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? So, oh my god, I'm so good. How are you? I feel I'm like good. we haven't spoken in so long. We haven't even done like a face to face, have we? No, not in ages. Oh my god. Not for like probably six months. Literally. <sighs> Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I bet. Hello. So have a little bug. <laughs> okay, so for everyone joining, I will be kind of talking to this beautiful queen Sam. Wait, first, do you want to introduce yourself and like Tell everyone who you are, even though we already know, but, you know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. Um, I'm a Brisbane content creator and I am a mum to Freya. She is eight months old. And I just like sharing, like, easy makeup and easy style, especially now that I'm a mum because half the time I've got a baby on my hip trying to get ready or I'm trying to do it in, like, three minutes. I'm getting flustered. There's postpartum sweats. Like, <laughs> so I'm just all things easy. I was effortless style before mm -hmm. becoming a mum, but it just, yeah, it's really ramped things up for me. <laughs> I bet. Oh, my God. But, like, okay, that is. And do you want to introduce yourself for oh, yeah. my followers that don't know you? Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. So I am Jessica. I'm a celebrity TV and makeup artist. Um, I also love, like, on my page, I like to share my client like photos and I also like to share some affordable tips and tricks for people who don't have you know the money or the time to get ready in like an hour like 10 minute makeup looks five minute makeup looks simple things because I believe every woman deserves to feel and look like a queen no matter what they have going on in their life and yeah. that's why I feel like our pages really work well together because you do yeah. that and then I'm just like oh I love everything you post but, yeah okay great oh, so, you oh you're so cute i'm so glad i have this new instagram and everything is just flowing but whatever That's it, is what it is <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna ask some questions and you just say whatever you feel because i feel like you've come such a long way especially with your skin and makeup journey like i remember yes. in the beginning your skin was um you had a lot more breakups and now like yeah. not always freaking incredible so yeah. we just need a little round of applause for that <laughs> yeah a little dance. <laughs> Literally. So in saying that, what is your number one skincare tip that you would highly like swear by? That's all you do. Like, what is it? Okay. Two things. One, less is more. Because when my, I don't know if anyone watching this knows, but my acne used to cover my whole face like this. I've still got scarring all over my chest. Um, it would go up in my jawline, through my hair, and it used to actually cover my back at one stage as well. Yeah. And now I get like a, an odd pimple here and there, and it's nowhere near as painful or anything like that. So when I had that acne, I was trying what felt like thousands of brands and spent so much money. And it wasn't until I literally, um, I gave away a lot of products and a lot of expired stuff I threw out, and I yeah. went back to basics, and that is my first skincare tip. And then my second one is um, using, I actually just use one brand. I just use Sabia Co. Yeah. Because they have a range where products are multi-purpose, mm -hmm. which also comes down to affordability. So yeah. like they've got a collagen C serum that is also designed that it will absorb in your eye area. Wow. Whereas a lot of moisturizers don't. That's why you need an eye cream. So yeah. that's, two products in one. <laughs> yeah. um, their BB cream is a moisturizer. So if you mm -hmm. just want to pop your moisturizer on and have a bit of a glow, that's again, two products in one. Um, mm -hmm. And I use the makeup remover pad instead of makeup wipes. And that changed 
my skin dramatically. <laughs> I bet I'm white. so glad yeah. to do that. Oh, that's so good too. <laughs> I've been doing that for about two years now. Yeah. And then I just, I use their botanical glow cleanser. So yeah. really I use four products and that's it. And, and I used to have like heaps. Yeah. Pardon? You use yeah. sunscreen too, yeah? Oh, sunscreen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, so I always think about that. sunscreen in like skincare. <laughs> It is so essential. Um, but I love that. I truly believe less is more. So I love that you are to that because I feel like as well with TikTok and Instagram, we tend to think we need all these products and then we use them and then our skin breaks out because you don't yeah. actually need all those products. Like I think it's a lot about what you eat as well. And like, like you said, less and just quality mm -hmm. over quantity. <laughs> 100 Jules is saying she's got more acne now at 35 than she did as a teenager. I was exactly the same. My skin was perfect as a teenager. And then I think I hit, what, how old was I? 27, yeah. 28 when it started getting bad. And then it got really bad when I was pregnant. And now, yeah. <laughs> no filter. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. It's, I feel like sometimes we get adult acne, but then if you just can treat it right and like just kind of also have a positive mindset about it, it will yes. really go better. Yes. Oh God, I focused enough. on acne positivity a lot while I had yeah. it. Like I still left the house without makeup on and just tried to be kind to myself. I think that's yeah. another thing. Yeah. 100%. So in saying that, is there anything you wish someone had told you when you were younger about your skin that you now know and are like, well, you know, like, what's your advice for someone that's younger that would, you know? Otherwise? Well, I always got told that you only get pimples when you're like 13, 14, 15. Yeah. And I thought I was so lucky that I didn't have it. I just wish I knew that it can happen at any stage of your life. Um, yeah. And it, that it's, it's like educated, uh, educate um, young girls and guys more on hormones, like, your hormones aren't just changing when you're a teenager. They change throughout your life, um, especially like getting pregnant or trying like contraception and all of that can change it. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, little baby. I might have to just pop her up here, Abby. One second. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> feel warm in my heart when I hear her. I hope you, if you guys have any questions as well, just leave them down below. We're just going to be talking a bit about mindset and easy skin tips, stuff like that. Hi. It's so hard to like hug her and not have her. So I'm just going to move you. Of course. Hi, <laughs> Little baby. You can't look at the camera. <laughs> She wants to know who I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> Little baby. Okay. Um, yeah, so you were saying that basically um, you wish someone had told you that, like, there is such a thing as adult acne and your hormones change and stuff. Is that right? And also that having bad skin doesn't mean you're dirty. I love because that so much. Oh. I had a friend when I when my acne first started getting – um, like it's gone up and down, but mm. I was around about 2021 20, when my skin first really broke out. Yeah. And I had a friend who made me feel like I'm not cleaning my face. I mustn't be showering. I must be dirty. I must be sleeping in my makeup. And all of those things had nothing to do with why my skin was bad. And I was really insecure about it. Um, and so, yeah, just educating young people that having acne doesn't mean you're dirty <laughs> yes i love that that's i think that's actually the first time i've ever heard someone say that. that's such an important thing for people i've seen actually. a lot of um acne positivity pages Good. bring that up because people will comment on their pictures saying ew just wash your face so because there's online bullies <laughs> but that happens in real life too people thinking yeah. oh she mustn't wash her face or she wears too much makeup but a lot of the time it's got nothing to do with that I completely agree. That is, I think, the best piece of advice that you can take away from this. <laughs> um, do you have any advice for young girls on how to be kinder to their faces and more forgiving for their flaws and confident with who they are? I know that your page talks a lot about that as well. Yeah. So I thought this really resonated with you. I think, um, I don't think social media is 
bad for people's self worth and self confidence and self love. I think it's who you follow. Yes. So if you're if you're you know because when we were like younger, there wasn't Instagram or anything for us to watch. Yeah. So we didn't really see that kind like influences or anything um, look all glamorous or whatever. But if I had a t- like a teenager right now, I would make sure that the pages that she follows inspire her and make her feel really empowered and beautiful because I know that I used to follow accounts and I'd look at them and go, I wish I looked like that. I wish I had this and that. And it would subconsciously make me feel really bad about myself. And I did um, a couple of years ago a full cull of who I followed and then started finding pages that really make me feel really empowered and inspired. Yeah. So um, that's a, I think that's a huge part. And um, just like knowing that self-love isn't about loving what you look like. It's about loving who you are as a person and also just appreciating your body and your health and that your body is so much more than what it looks like. Like it helps you walk around. Like it works really hard to keep you alive. Just, um, yeah, positive affirmations can help massively too. And like what I was doing, I used to cake my face in makeup and then when my acne was at its worst, I just decided to leave the house makeup free and just not care. And that's really, really empowering, empowering to do. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I love oh, that. You, Kelly. She's so cute. <laughs> I, I absolutely love that. I think affirmations really help as well. And yeah. I love what you said about loving who you are in the inside because I truly believe the more confident you are with who you are, like how your soul is, the more yes. beautiful you just, you radiate beauty, you know? So yeah. I absolutely love that. And I truly think that that's why my page is always like filter free because yes, there's no such thing as perfect makeup or flawless. I really hate using that word because it's not real, you know? Yeah. I Going filter free was the best thing I did for my confidence. Yeah. I was actually talking to Yanni who I used to have a filter. I don't have it anymore. Yes, and I when know. I created that filter with Yanni, I said, I just want people to still look like themselves, but just have a little bit of smoothing. So when they come on Instagram, they feel more confident. Yeah. What it actually did to me was made me not want to show up at all without my filter. And it did the reverse. So even though I had really good intentions for that filter, it made me feel worse about myself because I wouldn't come online because when I don't have a filter, you can see my wrinkles and like my bags under my eyes and my pimples and my scarring. But that's just, everyone has that. Exactly. And I think it's very empowering for other people to see that you're okay to jump online without a filter and you're okay to speak without a filter. And you also start getting more confident because other people are like, oh my God, she looks normal too. We are yes. all literally the same. So I, I love that you do that as well. And I feel like that's something we have in common, which is great because not yeah. a lot of people do that actually. And is, now yeah. when I put a filter on, I go, oh, that's so much. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and you got to remember that say, go like if you're on your Instagram feeling insecure about the girls that you follow looking so beautiful, go down to Woolworths and you yeah. tell me who in real life looks like, like, you know, it's yeah yeah anyways <laughs> <laughs> i completely agree with that i love that i think that's all i feel like that also comes in with how much confidence you have within yourself and just yeah accepting that you're beautiful and perfect the way you are and just to to feel amazing you are a queen you know yes i love that <laughs> <laughs> um have you ever struggled or you have struggled with acne so how did that affect because when you first got it obviously it, it would have been a shock especially because you had had it when you were younger. So how did that affect yeah. you when that happened? Um, my When it happened when I was in my early 20s, I just mm-hmm. didn't think that I was – I just really didn't think that I had anything about me that was beautiful um, at all. And it just made me more of a bitter person. I would assume that pretty people were mean. Yeah. And like just silly things like that. Or I just – I would never – um, be mean to anyone but it was always like I'd always just have snide comments going on inside my head and I 
feel like if you're ever doing that, then you need to look at yourself because it has nothing to do with the other person. It's all about your internal, how you feel. I've got some lipstick here in front of like trying to play with <laughs> Hey. Um, and, yeah, so I just had to, um, I don't know, it, it honestly took me until I was about 27 to wow. really – yeah get rid of that that internal voice in my head thinking I wasn't good enough because I didn't have great skin or wasn't pretty enough um what made you shift that like what kind of was the the point where you were like okay this is like I can't do this anymore um it was learning just to love myself and my personality I think like I said before self-love is so much more than loving who what you look like it's about loving who you are as a person all of my things that were my personality that I thought were flaws I actually started to love and I started to make sure that I was hanging around people that loved those flaws of mine rather than being friends with people or in relationships with people who saw those things as a bad trait like um for example I'm very very empathetic and I cry a lot (laughs) because of that I cry watching movies and like even if a complete stranger was crying next to me I would start crying but I used to be ashamed of those things and now I embrace them they're my favorite parts of my personality and starting to love me as a person made me love everything about me regardless if I've got a pimple so it just honestly had nothing to do with looks yeah it had to do with um going like internal yeah so you decided to make a shift that is very empowering and very hard to do especially when very hard you, yeah because you're like trained to automatically think negative of yourself and then when you start saying good things you're like oh this is this yeah. is new. this is weird <laughs> it's not about being cocky or exactly. being full of yourself it's just believing in yourself really yeah i love that so much <laughs> That is like so, that is so beautiful, honestly. And I feel like people sometimes like don't realize how amazing life is. And it really is so short. So like we deserve to feel our best. We actually deserve that. And we're designed for success. We're trained, you know, to actually feel negative and we're trained to be negative. So we have to like unwire those and just be true to ourselves. So I love The other thing is like the beauty industry feeds off our insecurities. (laughs) So yeah. you, like you, like when it comes to cellulite, I know it's not your face, but it's still your skin. Yeah. Um, cellulite isn't actually a thing. It's mm-hmm. a made up word. It's made up <laughs> so that people can sell you cellulite treatments. Mm-hmm. But the female body needs that. Like we need it. Yes, the bigger you are, the more prominent it's going to be. But it's actually not a scientific word. Like cellulite is a made up I know. <laughs> word. It should be an urban dictionary. It shouldn't even be. <laughs> so just remembering that there's a multi-billion dollar industry that relies on your insecurities to make money and um, that they're not actually flaws because everyone has them. Yes. It's like dark circles. <laughs> dark I, circles. Freckles. My God. Everything. <laughs> Literally, the amount of dark circle creams I used to buy was ridiculous. And I was just like, you know what? It is what it is. I love how my skin looks. And if I want to cover up, I'll put a bit of, you know, makeup on. Like, it's just, I just love embracing it. And that's why I really don't, like, I don't wear makeup often. Because I'm like, yeah. I don't care. I love my skin. And if yeah. I want to play and, you know, put some makeup on, I will. And I still will feel confident. So, I, I personally don't even recommend buying eye creams. I don't think they do much, to be honest. I think yeah. the cream under your eye is perfect, but they sell you like $80 for a little tub and it does. Yeah. yeah. Just hydrating, yeah. you know? Yeah. Just it's drink crazy. a lot of water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and try to eat. I feel like your body as well as your temple. So use that as like, because like you said earlier, like we should be embracing the way we walk and like our body functions. So if you love your body, you want to take care of it. So you would want to yeah. feed it good things so yeah. it functions better, you know? Yeah. So, little things. Yeah. <laughs> so having such a busy lifestyle, how do you maintain looking healthy and feeling healthy and all that stuff, especially now you're a mum? So I guess, and you're a full-time content creator, so you've got so many things going on. Like how do you prioritise that as well? 
it's habits. Yes. <laughs> it's it's um, creating that autopilot. Yes. So, you know, like you go to work every day, you have to get up at the right time and make sure you arrive on time and you, you go to work and you've got to do X, Y, Z or you'll get fired. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's just trying to create, slowly create those things on autopilot, making sure yeah. I always have a glass of water or a bottle of water everywhere I go. I think water is such a huge thing. Nice. <laughs> um, I know as mums and being busy, coffee is not a meal. <laughs> and I have to remind myself of that. Um, just rem when you eat good, you feel good. Mm. And remembering that, like on uh, Saturday, Sean and I had pizza for lunch and yeah. McDonald's for dinner. And yeah. I woke up yesterday feeling like I was hungover. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just just remembering that it makes you feel good and feeling good feels good and making them habits. Because then once they're a habit, it's just autopilot and you don't even yeah. think about it anymore. Of course. And, like, yeah. I know I'm not a mum, but I would love this, like, I would love you to answer this question, but I truly believe that when you focus on yourself and your health, not saying you – like I'm completely selfish, but when you focus and put yourself first, then you can actually be a better mom and be a better yes. wife and be a better person. Do you agree yeah. with that? One hundred percent. Because and that's and it's so easy when you're a mom to put yourself not second but third because you're worrying to make sure that especially when you're a stay at home mom, like, oh have I done the washing? Is the is the dinner ready for my husband when he gets home? Because I don't want him to think I haven't done anything all day. But yeah. if yeah, <laughs> you need to make sure that you're well fed and that if you need a day off, take it. Um, because otherwise, if you don't feel great, then how are you supposed to be a happy, bubbly mum for your child? Um, and be in a good mood when your partner gets home and not like, here's the baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also found when Freya started eating solids, it has made me eat better. Because yeah. I don't want to give her processed foods. So I'm a little bit more conscious on what I eat because she eats majority what I eat. Yeah. So that that is actually really good. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That is actually awesome. And it's, it's so nice to hear someone that is a mum and is so busy, you know, still making sure that you take care of yourself because it's so important. Like when you put yourself last, I don't think you can fully be as good to everyone that you love, you know. Yeah. So that's amazing. I love that. And not getting mad at yourself if you want to have mcdonald's <laughs> yeah i think like i feel like everything fun. in moderation of yes. course yeah yeah don't deprive yourself if you want it have it you know yeah i love that <laughs> so who would you say has been the most influential person um in your life that you can think about when it came to beauty or skin or anything like that That's a really hard question. I know. <laughs> um, it doesn't even have to be a person. It could be like um, like a, a thought you have as well. Like a... um, honestly, Katie, the owner of Sabia Co, yeah, has been such a huge positive impact on me because yeah. because we work together. I talk to her on a personal level and she is just so like she lives and breathes self-love oh. and um when my acne was at its worst she she just made me like yeah she made me feel really good about it really positive and the other thing also is my husband Sean he never once made me feel ugly or anything like that um he was really really good so probably those two were probably the biggest um yeah, yeah. That's really cute. <laughs> so when it does come to makeup, because I know you do like kind of simple makeup, yeah. especially when um, it's like you don't have that much time to do it. How do you feel when you do put on makeup? Like do you like wear it all the time or just sometimes? I wear it probably two times a week. Yeah. Um, and it, it changes. So if I'm going um, like out for like coffee or something with a girlfriend, I'll probably just put a bit of BB cream on some lip balm and I always do my brows because they're really really light yeah. and even just that in itself it just like it makes me feel a bit more like refreshed I look awake 
but it's not hiding anything. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then like, like today I've got a little bit more foundation and I love my bold lip and, yes. um, <laughs> It's like, you know how you have one thing that just makes you feel like really, really pretty? That's me with my lipstick. Um, I feel like that's your signature. I've, I've <laughs> seen you wear it like forever. It's just amazing. Yeah. When I see it, I'm like, that's Sam. <laughs> <laughs> like people love their eyeshadows. I love my lipstick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it makes me feel really pretty, of course. But it doesn't make me feel less pretty without it. Of course. I love that. Uh, which I think is a good mindset to be in because mm -hmm. it's just fun at the end of the day you take it off and... it is fun when you don't wear it every day and then you put it on you like put some music Ooh. on and <laughs> um i, I do want to mention something quickly before i forget mm -hmm. it because mum brain i was talking to a mum the other day and her daughter is about five and she said that she was putting her makeup on and her daughter asked her mummy why do you wear makeup and she was about to reply with because it makes me feel prettier and she had to stop herself because she doesn't want her daughter to think you're only pretty with makeup on. And that, she's told me that probably about six months ago. That has stuck with me massively that I, I don't want Freya to grow up and watch me every single day with makeup on thinking that she has to do the same in order to be beautiful. A hundred percent. Wow, that just actually gave me the goosebumps because yeah. that is so, I feel like a lot of women feel like they are only pretty with makeup when yeah. in reality we're all so beautiful the way we are and makeup really only enhances it's yeah what you have you know yeah and it should be fun yeah when we it's start like, just seeing it as like fun and creative over the be all and end all i think that's that change in mindset is massive of course and not taking it too seriously just like you said having fun with everything i think that's yeah. so important yeah i love that is there anything else women should know about their beauty routine when it come, when they're trying to um, juggle like being a parent and, you know, their jobs are stressful and everything? Like, I guess like some, because I know when I was really, really busy, I never had time to do my makeup and I didn't really care. But I know with some yeah. people when they're so busy, they're just like, oh my God, like, how can I fit in my makeup as well? Like they overthink it. So yeah. what would you um, say to that? Uh, getting up earlier. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I try now if I want to do something for the day and I do want to put makeup on or I want to straighten my hair or, or anything like that is just Freya wake, wakes up at 5am and I normally would just lay in with her. I just get up that little bit earlier. I honestly don't do anything fancy. I spray a couple of pumps of foundation on my hands and go like this <laughs> and I do like the cream blush. Like I just do it so you don't need all this extra fluff like you're not, like if you're just an everyday mum you're not a makeup artist like don't feel don't feel like you need a $300 makeup brush bag just <laughs> slap it on <laughs> it'll look good <laughs> 100%. and I love that you said you use your hands because I feel like your hands apply it so much better than a brush so that is really yeah. really good to hear and it's just so quick yeah thank you <laughs> yes, thank you it is really quick. And you can just wash your hands after. It takes two seconds yeah. and it comes yeah. up straight away. Yeah. I love that. That's, that's really good. So how often, you said you only put makeup on twice a week, but what types of makeup products do you usually use? Like what's your go-to um, products? I've got them here with me because I thought oh, you'd <laughs> So I don't know if everyone can see that. I yeah. only got onto this foundation like a month ago. Mm -hmm. because so many of my followers told me to get this, <laughs> which I, I love. Try it now. So it's the Emco Beauty Ultra Stay Flawless Foundation. Mm -hmm. I got it. Um, they had a half price sale at Woolies and it was $13. So it's normally 26. Yeah. And that's what I'm wearing right now. And that's it's, amazing. I slapped on with my hands. <laughs> I like that you can still see like my freckles. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But yeah, you can still see my freckles and everything, but it's given me enough to make me feel like, you know, a little bit more confident and so affordable. And it's all vegan and cruelty free and made in Australia. It's all the good stuff, but it's so affordable. Mm -hmm. I recently impulse bought a foundation for about $60 on Instagram. And I hate it? it. Which one was it? <laughs> I shouldn't say I, I hate it. I don't hate yeah. it good, but I like this $13 one more. 
Yeah. Um, this brand? Oh, Il Maquillage. I've, I've been tossing and turning about that. So I got the concealer too. I love the yeah. concealer. Okay. But the foundation, I preferred this more. Yeah. So that's my, like, go-to product. And it's also buildable. So if I feel like being so extra and doing a full face, I can build it up. Yep. Um, this is the blush I use. Okay. Nice. Just a cheek and lip tint. Again, it's mm -hmm. like so. It's like ten dollars or something. Yeah. My lips. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and then these two, these like magic brows. They're just like you just brush. So that's super quick. Yeah. Because that's I'm not so drawing cool. my brush in, my eyebrows in. Yeah. You just turn the TV up so loud. Oh. <laughs> She's playing with the remote. <laughs> Um, a little bit of mascara. Honestly, I hardly ever wear mascara. Yeah, I feel like you don't even you don't even really need it. I don't even notice that you had. Like I just I've think got a little bit on now, but yeah. Yeah. The only um like branded product I use is the Laura Mercier powder. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, because I just I I really struggle. I haven't found an affordable powder that I like. Have you? I might be able to help you, yeah. <laughs> I have it here actually. So this is a powder and a um, finishing powder. So this will set your makeup and make you look very just kind of airbrushed. I use that word very lightly, by the way. It's the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the loose powder. And then um, I also really like the compact one. This okay. honestly has changed my life. This is in medium, but I think for you, go for the lightest one. Yeah. And if you really want it to look, if you want to literally look like you have a filter on, Get a cotton pad and like it's so big and it's only like thirteen dollars. You can get it from Woolies or get it from. Do you have a uh, chemist warehouse in Brisbane? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go there because it's like ten dollars there. So you get it and you just get a cotton pad and you put it on and then you just dust it off because you don't need a lot. And then I'll show you actually. Let me show you. I'm so excited to use this. <laughs> so you just get a cotton pad. I go in. You don't need a lot, so I just like dust it off, right? tap it on the back of your hand and you just stamp that wherever you want to look a bit more like do you see the difference yeah it wow does. yeah i have to do the other side now because it's slack <laughs> but honestly this literally makes your makeup last all day all night like it is the best one of my favorite products to use i personally like the loose one a bit more than the compact one yeah but this is, and it also gives you a bit more coverage so if you yeah. have very light like if you just put concealer on use this i just think it's so good because the lime is like 50 dollars. yeah this is like 10. <laughs> i am so getting that <laughs> let me know how you go and honestly that look like i prefer the cotton pad or you can even go to kmart and get those little sponges and you can reuse that instead yeah. of wasting cotton pads but i yeah. just think yeah i feel like affordable products sometimes do better than high-end products as well so I'm yeah. glad that you have found everything except the powder. I could help you. Well, now I can't wait to try that. <laughs> I'm so excited. You have to let me know how you go because it's so changed. I've tried every powder but that one. <laughs> Literally. Oh, my God. Okay. It's good. And they don't have that many shade ranges, but I feel like the majority of shade ranges work for every skin tone because I, work, I use it for my clients. So it's usually Okay. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. How exciting. So just to end this off, because I feel like I have one more question for you. Yeah. So you said that you don't wear makeup often, which I think is amazing in saying that. Do you, when you're going for a night out, like what are your few little tips that you would use to just spice up your makeup a bit so you feel still like yourself, but just a little bit more sexy? You know what I mean? <laughs> I... um will put like some contour like I don't have any contour on yeah now like I'll just do um yeah in there do my non-existent jawline now Sorry. <laughs> becoming a mom I lost my jawline um yeah just a little bit of contour and then I use the same contour like powder in my eye and you taught me this trick of like bringing the brown like out a little bit further so it gives me that little cat eye <laughs> I'm so happy you still do that. Can I just say I'm like so 
smiling from ear to ear right now. <laughs> um, and yeah, either like the lipstick that I'm wearing now or I'll wear like a red, I feel like a red lip is like ultimate date night. Yeah. <laughs> totally. totally. So that's probably the only extra things I do. Yeah, I love yeah. that. that I, I used to really pop lashes on, but I haven't worn yeah. lashes in ages. You know what, me too. I feel like I just kind of prefer mascara now. Yeah. Bad, but. Less is <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any last tips for any woman that is wanting to, you know, look still beautiful? I feel like, let me just clarify that you're beautiful with and without makeup. But makeup is fun and yeah. you, like, you know, I feel like I can feel your beautiful energy radiating through <laughs> and it shows in your gorgeous skin and like your smile and everything. So for everyone watching, what what's like one tip you can give someone who wants to wear makeup but is scared, oh. judged or like they're like, oh, you know, you know how it is, especially as a mom, I feel like people are like, oh, you know, you make more time for yourself. And I think that's so awful because you're still just awful. beaming. Yeah. <laughs> like. So yeah, you're still a good mom in your pajamas or full glam. Like it's, it's fine. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know how to answer that one. Just giving your time, like if you just giving yourself that five minutes to get ready. And if it makes you, if wearing makeup makes you feel really beautiful, then just do it. I feel like there's, there's no shame in not wearing makeup. There's no shame in wearing makeup. Like it's, it's more about what makes you feel really, really good. Um, and who cares if people want to judge you because you're mum and you're like all done up. Yeah. <laughs> it goes back to that's more on them. It says more about them than it does about you. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, feel like so I, I feel like that's actually great. And I just think. Yeah, just live life and be amazing because you are amazing and everyone's amazing. So do whatever makes you happy. I feel like that's the motto in life, right? Just do yeah. whatever makes you happy. I just awesome. put Freya in front of the TV for five yeah. minutes with my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Thank you so, so, so much for chatting with me. I know you're so busy, but I really, really appreciate it. It's been so freaking nice to speak with you. I know. We could chat forever. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> especially about self love. I feel like we just like bounce off each other and get so excited. <laughs> yes, a hundred percent. When we used to do our voice notes, I feel yeah. like we would just talk so much about it, and I get so much more excited. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, like. <laughs> well, that's probably another tip: is surround yourself with people who also are really trying to like practice self love because you'll bounce off each other. <laughs> One hundred percent. Every time we yeah. just and I finish a conversation we're like all right we're gonna rule the yeah. world <laughs> literally I <laughs> get so pumped up having friends like that is yes yeah. I feel like you feel so unstoppable when you have friends like that because you're like great you're doing great I'm doing great like now our energies align and it's just radiating even more and then you start aligning with more people like that so yeah. I think that is the best piece of advice and especially for mums because yeah. We're always going to have stuff to complain about. We're all tired, but there's a difference between catching up with a mum friend and just having a horrible complaining sesh and yeah. just having a little vent, getting off your chest and then moving on to like yeah. the fun parts of being a mum because, yeah. yeah, if you're constantly around other mum friends that are just whinge and complain about this and that and things that are so out of control, like Freya did a poo explosion on my sister's couch yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> like you just clean it up and you move on <laughs> like the way you said that was so cute <laughs> so yeah just staying that. around people that are also positive it's okay to have a vent but laugh yeah. it off and yeah <laughs> move on I love that <laughs> Oh my god, well thank you so so thank so you so for much. having me. Anytime, like it's an <laughs> honor to speak with you and I'm sure this is gonna help so many other women as well just resonate with you and like be able to feel better about themselves because that's the goal in this, you know, to get yeah. other queens to feel more like queens, pick their, yes. pick their little crown, you know. <laughs> I love that. I love that, I love that. I always say that. <laughs> so I will um have all your socials, any socials you want me to tag description when i post this video so make sure you follow the amazing beautiful queen sam <laughs> Thank you. and freya it's been so nice hearing you little bubba <laughs> and yeah thank you again so much
Oh, and we should tell everyone to follow you on your Instagram, right? Your new Honey. clip page. You have a new clip? Oh, yes. My new hair accessory factory. Yes, I believe it's launching today. Is that right or am I wrong? It launched last week. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. The day is having gone. Okay, so it launched last week, everyone. So anyone who wants a little clip in their hair or scrunchies, you do scrunchies too? I am um, hair care. <laughs> hey. It's all like effortless hair. So clips, the blow dry brush, and hair cares as well. I feel like you want to take it. So make sure you follow her page, her new hair care page as well. And I will be signing off now. Thank you again so much. And we thank will you see you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Bye. Bye.